I heard $64.99 increase under the Basildu Amendment, $55.62 increase under the Willis Amendment, $83.62 decrease under the Middleton Amendment. Okay, uh, th that's my sort of that's my question for you. Thank you. You're a rock star, uh, Jack, for having those calculations ready. Thank Although you, I did Jeanette. give you a heads up that we'd need them, so and it was really I you out there a little bit. But no, you really did a great job there. Okay, all right. So. Um, Five plus three plus one. Don't let me talk longer than nine minutes, <laughs> City Secretary, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk here for a minute before we, before we go to vote on this. Um, one of the cool things, if 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 you have uh, kids, is that you kind of get a chance to. To see things that you. Thought you knew or thought you understood a second time around through their eyes, right? So I've been thinking about this process. I've been thinking about what we're going to talk about today. And I thought about how my oldest son, William, last year uh, at school brought home a book that he was assigned to read at school. And it was about the story of the Titanic. And I, it made me think about the movie and that song that they had to uh, make us listen to every single day, all day long for the, the year it came out. It was like the most popular song of the year. And it, I think the Boston radio station actually like banned it from being played anymore after a year because it was played so much. But I thought about the movie, but then I also thought about the story of the Titanic. And I asked my son, well, you know, what does this story mean to you and why did they assign it to you? And you know, what, what, what was your takeaway from the story? And um, we talked about it a little bit, but the thing I remember him saying was, is, you know, Dad, I just don't understand um, why the, the, the ship's captain, you know, didn't turn the ship around. Why didn't they avoid hitting the iceberg? And I said, son, that's the thought that everybody has when they first hear the story. I said, but what I seem to remember, and I could be wrong, but I think what the problem was is they didn't see it in time. By the time they saw the iceberg, it was too late to turn the ship around because the nature of icebergs is you only see part of it above the water. The majority of it's below the water. Can't see it. And by the time you get a visual on it, in some cases, it's too late to turn it around. And he was like, oh, OK. Uh, and it was a, obviously you know, a, a tragic situation then, but it's a metaphor, I think for the situation that we face right now. And so I actually brought you guys something today. I brought you one of my kid's toys. I want to show you something. Because I think this is, this is where we are. This is us. <laughs> we're at the city of Dallas. And we're floating along. And this property tax situation that we're in in Dallas, it's an iceberg. I say it's an iceberg because we can't continue to tax people the way we've been taxing them and think they're going to stay. Think they're going to continue to choose Dallas to live and, and have their businesses here. We got too many options in North Texas all around us where they could get a better deal on their taxes. This, that's an iceberg. This is us. And we're floating along. And to me, personally, and this is not, this is just how I see it. And I'm asking everybody to think about it however they want to think about it, but I'm a simple guy. And I have to think about things in a simple way sometimes. To me, of these options, only one of them represents turning this ship around and going the other direction. Only one of these. Now, big ship can't be turned around all at one time. It's going to be hard to turn around. But only one of these options actually begins to do that today. Turn it around starting today. The other options that I see amount to moving the deck chairs on this thing around. That's what it amounts to. The numbers are what they are. The other options that I see before us amount to saying, I see that iceberg over there. And I think what we ought to do is move the chairs on the, on the deck of this boat around. One of these options represents saying, I see that iceberg over there, let's turn this sucker around starting right now. 
and that's why I would say, for me, I made a commitment, you've heard me talk about it, I'm gonna support turning the ship around for the residents of Dallas and the taxpayers in the city. And I would recommend that we actually vote against my good friend, Chairman Bazalua's motion to adopt essentially the, the city manager's proposed budget tax rate so we could continue to talk about turning the ship around and voting for a tax rate that would actually, a ceiling on the tax rate that ensures, and this I'm gonna to get to your point, uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Basil Du, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Chairman Narvaez's point actually that I said I was gonna to get to later. The reason I think that's important to do today, and I, I wanna be consistent with what I said before, we aren't voting on the rate today. Y'all are so smart and you're right to understand that that's not what we're deciding today, but what I would love to see us do is guarantee, guarantee through our actions today that no matter what decisions get made through this process, the ship's turned around. And that, the only way we do that is to adopt at least the no new revenue rate. This is the least we can do if we actually wanna turn the ship around. The other options that are out there, as well-intentioned as they are, as creative as they are, as thoughtful as they are, don't actually turn the ship around. They move the chairs on the ship around. I wanna see the ship turned around. And so I'm saying, please, 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 please today, tell the city manager, tell his staff, you guys are smart, you're creative, figure out a way, figure out a way to make all of our equity goals and things we wanna do doable with this pile of money right here, this pile of money. This is the pile of money we're going to give you to work with, maximum, maximum. And the only way we get there is by setting this max tax rate today at a level that's lower than what's on the table with Mr. Basildua's motion. So with that, we need a record vote on Mr. Basildua's amendment, and then we'll work through the, we'll work backwards is the way we have to do it. So let's go ahead and have the record. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Please start voting. Correct, this is, th yes, this is the record vote on Councilmember Basil Dewis' motion. Okay. Eleven have, twelve have voted. We have 14 members of council present. Twelve have voted. Thirteen have voted. 